Hey guys, so today I just wanted to show you my quick short bob curly hair routine. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Hey guys, so the routine that I use for my hair, it's called the lock method. You can do a lot of research on it. I'm not going to get too into it. But first, I use a leave-in, and this is the one I use. It's the Dominican Magic Leave-In Conditioner, and this stuff smells amazing. Um, I just take that much, about a quarter size, and I just rake it through my hair, um, mostly concentrated on the ends, but I don't like to use too much because if you get carried away with this, your hair can kind of like feel sticky. But I just put a little bit of the excess on the top and, you know, make sure that I get it really good in there. Okay, so next I'm going to just comb everything out with this wide tooth comb. Um, this one I think is from Conair. I had this for years, so I don't remember where I got it from, but I'll try to find a similar one for you guys. Okay, so now I'm taking this coconut milk oil. Um, this is by Organics. I love this stuff. You can just use regular coconut oil too. I only squirt once, and then I just kind of squeeze it on the ends of my hair. Um... I don't like to put too much of this also because I feel like it can easily go overboard and make your hair just really oily but um yeah I love this stuff I like it more than coconut oil just because it has protein in it um I'm pretty sure coconut oil does too but I like that it has egg white protein specifically so now I'm just taking this multicultural curls curling cream from Miss Jessie's I don't think they make this anymore. I think they turned the formula into a gel. I take about a quarter um, sized amount as well and then I just kind of rake it through the ends of my hair concentrating there first and then applying the excess to the top part of my head um, just because that part of my head gets really oily really quickly so I don't like to put too much product there. And this stuff works really well. We're even reading the description on it, you guys have to read it. If you are mixed and your hair type is similar to mine, you're going to love this stuff, promise. Okay, so now just combing everything out again with a wide tooth comb, making sure that the products are evenly coated throughout my hair. And then we're just going to shake it up a bit. I used to scrunch my hair. I don't do that so much anymore just because with this uh, A-line sort of bob haircut, I feel like if it gets too much volume, it doesn't look the greatest. So now I just kind of flip my head over and shake it a little bit. Shaking is the best method for me to get the curl texture that I want and the shape that I like my hair to be in. So now I'm just going to fold pieces over to one side and use my natural part to help uh, keep the hair in the position that I like it to dry in because once you leave it there you're not going to touch it again. So now I'm just taking this blow dryer. I think this is also from Conair. It was like 20 bucks at Target. I like to put it on medium to high heat and then just the light uh, air setting and I'm just going to blow dry the top of my head you know just the roots so that it doesn't get a puffy dry <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense but I like it to lay a little bit flat I don't like too much volume uh, just specifically with this haircut I feel like my hair dries best when I do this and I don't like to put too much heat on it so we're only gonna leave it here for about 30 seconds and having this nozzle on helps concentrate the heat um, just so that it dries without getting frizzy Okay, so when it comes to drying the top part of my head for specifically where my hair is going to fall towards the front, if that makes sense <laughs> in this part, I like to hold the pieces down towards my face. 
um, as you can see, as if you would have bangs there. Just hold it down towards your face and dry it that way so that when your hair dries fully, it'll dry in the same direction. Hope that makes any sense to you guys. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I like to just push back some hair behind my ear. As you can see, the back is shorter than the front of my hair. That's a style of haircut that I have. And I like to leave it this way and just let it air dry. And this is how it turns out, you guys. I hope you like this video. Um, like, thumbs up the video if you did. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. And if you have any video suggestions, please be sure to leave them down below. Thanks for watching. She's a fashion model. Jane now. Jane now. Jane now. Jane now. We're going to take it back for a moment,